minutes. Right, come on then. More than enough. All right, so. What are we clap syncing? Oh yeah, we'll just. You don't have to. <laughs> no, let me just clap. <laughs> Let me get my drink. I'll sidle on that over here. We're going to do spaghetti bolognese. Why would you do spaghetti bolognese? Because it's easy. Because it's easy, isn't it? Yeah. Get in. The only thing that you haven't got, which I normally do with a cheat, is uh, like a bolognese jar. But it's fine. It's fine what we got. You're going to do your roasty vegetables. Yeah, yeah. Let's I'm, do gonna, those... I'm going to start now while we're talking. All right, let's do this. that'll take yeah. ages. Let's yeah. stick that on now. So, I'm going to sharpen that probably. But anyway, I'm going to do this quick. Because then, whilst we're doing everything else, we could have probably could have cut these earlier. But, um... Oh, that's not how you cut an onion, you know. I don't care. Oh, my God. I'm not chef. I, I could have shown you how to do that. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we do another cooking show <laughs> next <laughs> time? And you can. Uh, and you can I'll show you. Me. I'll show you how to pack in the All supermarket, right. which I already did, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, well, mm. And then you can show me. I, I don't do it. Are you cutting your mustard? Your, your I don't know how in to half. Put... Yeah, probably. Uh, nah, bang them in. Uh, I don't know how to cut mushrooms. Well, no, I'm, that's a lie. What do I you do. Mean? I just can't be bothered to do them, so you could prep the mushrooms. Well, I'll prep the mushrooms. So we're putting half the onion. So we need to tell everybody what we're doing. All oh, right, yeah. Well, are we only because what are you wanting to do with the onion? We'll, we'll put some of the onion in there. Right, okay. So I'm going to put half, half and half in with that so that it tastes quite nice. Again, you're not going to like the way I'm going to cut it, but oh, I could show you such a better way of doing it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. You show me. But you know, because you've ruined it now. Oh, I've got another onion. We could do like a half two. All right. I do no, I just can't be bothered. But, like, it's, but it's oh, an easier way to do that it. Isn't you like have the in that way you have the stalk on it? Yeah. I think I just can't be able. I just end up doing that. <laughs> Which I know has annoyed you. No, 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 no. It just it just makes life a little bit easier for yourself. That's all. Where well, should I am? Oh, we just buy oh, it. Right. And, oh, I'm just yeah. going to get rid of the rubbish yeah, in the we'll bin. Just throw that down. All right. Should we, should we put our, our pasta on as well? Well, does that need to be on straight away? Because yeah. Because going to take a bit of time, aren't they? It does need, need to be on straight away. Veg. Why? Well, How it's going to take... It take? Well, 15 minutes at least, isn't it? No, but this is going to take at least 20 minutes. Psh. This. This. That's not going to take long. It's just vegetables, right? Oh, no, but they're not, they're not, they're not, yeah, whatever. So I'm cutting off the courgettes. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not in the right way. There's any chefs that listen to our podcast? I think there is. I think Wayne listens. Um, I keep telling him. Right, which, which hob am I putting the water on? If it starts getting really steamy, we'll put the extractor fan on, but it makes a Ooh. bit of a noise. Yeah, it makes a bit of a noise. Right, let the boil, water boil. Do you want to chuck a, a thing over it so that it helps boil in it? That'd be good enough. Sorry, I didn't know if I got that one. Um, what were we going to tell you? Oh, yeah, so when one of my clients I don't think your man's talking about him. Anyway, he's a chef. Yeah. And he was like, he works somewhere else now. But he was like, oh, I don't know what I want to do. I was like, you need to get on YouTube and have yourself a cooking program. And he's like, no one wants to watch me. And I'm like, everybody surprised. wants I mean, to watch. I went, you'd be surprised. Yeah. People watch loads of random stuff. I like, like really bad stuff as well. Yeah. For the sake of it. People so, watch people playing video games. Yeah. People so, go to stadiums and watch people watching video play, playing video games. What is that all about? People watch people talking about 
TV the programs. Secrets of the motorway. Oh my God. When I say people, I mean James oh. and I may have got into that. As oh well. God. <laughs> it was quite interesting. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Stop so, it. So well, that. I mean, we could talk about Gogglebox. I've never watched it. Uh, that's quite addictive. But again, it's like once you've watched a few, it's like you've watched... <sighs> Um, you were only watching it surely for the characters of the people on the on the TV yeah, show. Yeah, they've they become their own characters, haven't they? I mean, look at Scarlett Moffat's career now. She's in everything. Well, she's a Moffat, isn't she? Yeah. And I used to be a Moffat before I got married. What an awesome name. Excuse yourself. I'm going to pop that in there. Are you going to put... Hey, you put, Siri, set a timer for 20 uh, minutes. Right. I think you should put the roast... I think you should put the garlic in that. Roasted oh, shit, garlic. Yeah. Um, right, so I mentioned to you, oh, so yeah, so we're making spaghetti bolognese because it's quick in it, quick, well, quick and easy, perhaps once you've got to set up cameras and shit. <laughs> that did take a while. But, uh, we also on our YouTube channel, I had someone ask um, if we could send them the um, recipes for the cottage, the cottage cheese, no, cottage, cottage pie. pie. And the yeah, chipotle. lasagna. And the lasagna. Um, and I thought, well, whilst we were doing it, because I said to you, and I got that, and I said, whilst we were doing that, we might as well. Um... Well, we can do the cottage pie again. No, I know, but well, then, then you were like, why don't we cook something different and then put that up? And I thought that was oh, that's a good idea. I thought that was a good idea. So, um, so that's what we're doing. Yeah. We are. Um, so I'm just chopping up. So again, there's probably an easy way to do this, um, but I'm not a chef. Um, Go on, what, what do you want? Well, what are we going to do next? I don't know. I'm, I'm using wider because I thought... Get the I'll, oil in. Yeah, you do that. All right. So with the, the skillet thing... Yeah. Again, I don't think it's the right thing to use, but that's all I've currently got. Doesn't matter. No, I'm just telling, I'm just telling oh. the audience. Oh, you're telling the audience, yeah. okay. But look, so yeah, I'm but... I'm going to put it onto heat, okay. then that heats, Can, and then Have you got a... Oil where's your spoonage? Can, are you got a particular spoon oh, you like you to use? Wooden spoons? Yes, yeah, yeah. Wooden yeah. spoons are better. Yeah, they are. Um, so we had a conversation about what fat we're going to use, and mm. I, a lot of people use olive oil, but olive oil's not great burning although you know when you watch these michelin star chef the like, chefing programs master chef all that kind of stuff they always put olive oil in the pan so what are we missing i don't know but i'm just gonna where's my thing we should google that actually you know i will do in a minute when I just, i'll just chuck this in here so what would you like sunflower or olive oil <laughs> what do you want to use what do you want in? i don't mind well, well. all right we'll use olive oil then Oliver serving there, haven't you? With his flappy mouth. With his what? With his flappy mouth. With his flappy mouth? Has he got a flappy mouth? He's got a bit of a flappy mouth. Oh. I like his recipe ideas. I've got, listen, I, I pull from Jamie Oliver quite a bit in his, um, yeah. his books. I've got some of his. Do you know what? I don't like cooking with electric. No, neither do I. It's so we moved into this house a year ago. I don't and, know, it's weird. Uh, yeah, no, I agree. It's, it's weird. I, I like I like gas. I like gas, yeah. gas hob. Yeah. I don't mind electric oven, but gas hob. Yeah, but when you're when you've already got it installed into yeah. the that you've just bought, yeah, and also you don't. This is not my. Um, has it got? Yes, it has. Yeah, it has. We've like defrosted it into it. Um, anyway, oh, I'm just going to have to sort that out. Oh, shit. What have you done, Cal? Well, get a knife. I don't know, but we kind of need to take it off. <laughs> oh, I've got a big bit there. Go stick it in there. Didn't think this through, did we? Jamie no. Oliver once done that. No, we should have put the onions in first. I always put onions in first. So I'm not in my kitchen. I'm not in my space. All right. What is it? Mi casa is, is su casa. Mi casa is su casa. 
Right. Well, I think that's good enough. That's it. Stick your fingers oh, right good. in it. No, I did wash it. I've washed my hands. The video is... I've got video evidence of me washing my hands, of which I'm going to wash them again because I've just been... Handling... Molestering po raw mince. Poultry. Yes. So we're using chicken mince. Have we said that already? Oh, we're using chicken mince. Uh, and the reason why we just had that catastrophic problem is because... Uh, and up until about half an hour ago, that was frozen, so it's just defrosted it. It was. Anyway. You bother. Right. I'm going to do my, yeah, my culinary critting skills. And I'm moving my fingertips out of the minute. So I meant to say to you, what do you think about air fryers? I don't know anything about them. Everyone's raving about them, aren't they? Yeah. I've got nowhere to put it in my kitchen. I think you end up with all this. I mean, my kitchen is like, quite small, but like it's, it's like, like another thing to put yeah. in the kitchen. Like, like what a year ago it was. Um, is it spiral. cheaper? Apparently, it's like quicker to cook stuff. Yeah, so therefore it would be cheaper. Yeah, yeah. So you're not heating up a whole yeah. fucking oven. No, yeah. yeah, no, you I get to that. Preheat it. Yeah, I don't it in. No, wait, 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 because it's a lot of raw meat. Yeah, wait till it's cooked off a little bit and then add them. Um. Yeah. So apparently. I mean, we were over in Denmark and yes, had one, and I'm not going to lie, you know, he cooked, um, I think he cooked some bacon and stuff in it, and it was quite nice because it wasn't, you know, greasy. Yeah. So, so, you know, you've got the economic benefits of it being cheaper, uh, it's quicker, and some very healthier. Mm. You don't have to use oil. You yeah. You can just spray oil on. Anybody who's got any... Feedback on having on an air fryer. Kelly's yeah. got an air fryer for Christmas. Who? Kelly. Yeah, one of my buddies, Kerry. Bit, um, bit noisy, sorry, but we have to. I think it's those onions yeah. getting in my eyeballs. Do you know it? It's getting in my eyeballs. Years when I was a kid. When, when I was a kid and I used to... I don't, I've said this before, onions are not as strong as they used to be. As it, it depends. Like... Some of them, some of them I'm like crying. Oh like yeah, I can't, like, I can't see. I, I, when I was I was probably about eight, eight or nine, and my mum came home and I was cooking dinner. And um, in order for me not to... Yeah, I can chuck them in now. In order for me not to get my eyes all watery, I had my... my Goggles on? My, like, you know... Um, uh, uh, swimming goggles. It's not like swimming, snorkels. snorkeling goggles on. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Um. Oh, I was listening to. Well, James and I were talking about this the other day, and I was also listening to something. All you've uh, got to do is just, uh, just, just chop them up. Yeah. Well, like, like lengthways. Yeah. Slices. Yeah. Um. Desserts. So we're talking about different desserts, and it came up on a podcast I was listening to the other day. And so we were talking about. Remember. Um, Kids these days won't remember it, but fruit salad in a can. And oh, I know. Milk. Yeah. Carnation. Yeah. Because you were posh if you had carnation. Yeah. You were posh if you had milk. And then James said peach slices. Peach slices. Yeah. Um, and then he talked about peach slices with Angel Delight. Pineapple, can of pineapple chunks. Mm, yeah, well, Angel Delight. Yeah. But then, in special occasions. Oh, we need to check this Yes. Bionetta or Sarah Lee, Black Forest Ghetto. Oh, Do you, you remember that? Black Forest Ghetto. Love the Black Forest. My mum loved the Black Forest, yeah. He's like, I got uh, an Arctic roll. Can you go Arctic roll? Well, I'm, I'm just bang it in. So, You've got to be careful with time because it can overpower it. So you put in some... Ta basically, you put in what would be classed as Italian seasoning. Right, oregano. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all of that in. We need. What, what are we gonna do about the nutmeg? Oh, I'll, I'll shave it. Would you put nutmeg in? Yes, let's chuck it in. Right, I'll, I'll get Just bread like bread. um, like a, a shaving of it. Yeah. Woo! So that was sage, oregano, and thyme. But you could go to the shop and get, it's called Italian seasoning, and then it's just a bit of all of that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, you smell like, oh, do you want your tomato puree? In a minute, okay. in a minute. In a right, we're going to put some chilies in. Yeah. Because we want to. Um, what was I getting out? I just have to get stuff. What was I doing? 
the shaver for the nutmeg. Right. Am I just doing a pinch? Yeah, bang it in. I like the lot, so do what you want. Well, you can, I don't mind. You make that decision. I'm not, I'm not doing, doing that. What did we do about the, with the nutmeg? I, I, I think that's plenty. Oh, my God. I quite like it. It'd be, Woo! Very, it'd be very flavoursome. I mean, we have got chopped tomatoes with peppers and chilies. Yeah, I know, but that's... Okay. I think that's a lot of chilli. No, it's not, it's not enough. Um, well, we're looking for nutmeg. I've got it. I've got it out. I've got it out. Yeah. How much do you want? Whatever you want. Well, you, you could actually add that at the end. What is like a? Yeah. To right, get the full flavour, do, so don't cook, don't cook it, it off. Oh. Right. I'm putting the tomatoes. So we've got canned tomatoes. No, exactly. So, I put two cans of tomato, um, chopped tomatoes in. Right, I've shared some nutmeg for later. What's that Have we finished with all these spices? And yes. I'm gonna, I've got a little wedge of tomato puree I'm going to chuck in. Would you measure it or just eyeball oh, it? I'm just chucking it in. It. Just, yeah, it in. just chuck it in. What are you measuring for? I can go in the bin. I can go in the bin. Yep. Oh, let's chuck those mushrooms in. Yeah, I was going to treat myself to a bigger pan. Yeah, that's um, alright. We'll make it work. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's flat as over because it's going no. to wipe it down. Exactly. Do you know what I do? do I, like, I like cooking with gas. Well, you know where you're at with gas. But I don't like the whole I'll chuck it in um, cleaning it up. Bit pain, yeah, it is a bit, a little bit of a pain, but oh, yeah. um, so I'm gonna let those cook down a little bit. So nice. I am really hungry, I'm actually. Give them a little shake up. Yeah. Health and safety always. I don't know why I'm bending down off of it. It's kind of got my mind. Oh, it's like pancake, isn't it? It might be a bit al dente. Um, I don't mind that, though. No, I don't mind it. You don't want soggy veg. No. So then, right, I'm going to try... I, I might just simmer that. Turn it down a bit. Yeah, so let me let the... And I'm going to put a couple of bay leaves in. Lovely. They're off our tree. Are they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a big bay leaf bush in the back garden. That could have gone anywhere, then. Yeah, I know. Big bay leaf bush in the back garden. That could have gone anywhere, then. Any time you're talking about bush. Oh, no, I am a little bit hangry. No. Um, right, where are we at with that oh, water? So if, anyone, if anyone's wondering why we don't have peppers, there's a current shortage, isn't there? Apparently. Janine found out what to do. I didn't know it was going on. I suppose unless you need peppers, you wouldn't know. Well, and everyone's wondering about cucumbers, but I had a problem getting cucumbers. No. Or tomatoes. I... The only reason I noticed it is because when I went into I went into specifically to Waitrose today because I come through Winton, and, and the, I, it's convenient. I don't shop in Waitrose normally because unfortunately Waitrose you're too expensive to do a full shop. But I normally shop in Asda, as we know from when we went in there last time. But um, I didn't notice in Asda over the weekend when I went in shopping that there wasn't anything missing, whereas in Waitrose like a lot of the vegetable, but like the salad. The eggs, remember when everyone was complaining about the eggs? I never noticed a problem, but maybe it's the time we go in, they've just replenished when we go in. No, it, no, it was unusually empty in which, like, bare. But then that poses the question of should we be eating seasonal veg and not 
I mean, we're having tomato, but we could have got away with not having the um, cherry tomatoes in there. We just had tin tomatoes, couldn't we? True. Um, but yeah. But yeah, and then but if you would, go on, how many vegans would you say eat seasonal veg only? <sighs> I mean, I'm I, I, I'm not I'm not preaching about sustainability, sir. So, but oh, well, I don't think that they do. What vegans eat eat seasonal veg? Oh, I thought you said preach about sustainability. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> From my experience, I did I did used to get a box from a organic farm in Totten and it, I just I did used to do that I just fell yeah, out of I practice of doing that, that. The first step. yeah and it was nice but then sometimes it wasn't enough or the same stuff which was in season yeah and then if you're really busy and you just generally don't have time to think oh what can like a uh, what can I put pat choy in yeah oh, what was the other one that they sent over Celeriac, 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 celeriac's yeah. quite nice. I usually I do know. that with a mash. Oh, you definitely. Cel celeriac that. mash is quite nice. What does it taste like? I've never had it. It's um, it's kind of um, well, it's like celery. Oh, okay. Oh, it'd be quite nice in like. Yeah. Would you put it in? Because sometimes I put I put celery in casseroles because it gives it that little yeah. Fairly taste. Yeah, stews. Yeah. Ooh, that's we're in. Ready. I turned it right up. It was getting on my nerves. How much pasta would you like? Um, you're going to hate me, but I'll have to measure it because I'm on RP. Oh, sod it. Just put whatever in. Just put whatever in and I'll... And I'll, and I'll. Well, it's for three people, right? Oh, so that's really nice stuff, in it? I know. Yeah, three Th people. Three people. Yeah. So we're cooking for three people, if anyone's wondering. So... Janine's just play no, let it, let, don't break it. I'm not going to break oh. it. Stop. Stop. It'll be all right. What you were doing. I was like, oh, don't break it. No, just putting it in. Do you know why? There you because go. My mum used to break it. Like, I do, if I'm on my own, I will snap it in half and chuck it in. I know, but it looks fancy, doesn't it, when you've got it in big bits? Yes, true. Ooh, yeah, this is, this is nice. This is nice. never use. Yeah. I might wash it first. Yeah, wash it. Because <laughs> it's probably been there since I bought it. <laughs> so what have you been doing today, Janine? Um, well, everybody cancelled today. And so... Wait, what date is it? The end of the month, isn't it? Yeah. Right. My first one, she cancelled poorly. Um, I did get up and go swimming really early, which was really nice. I was, it was only me and another guy in the pool, which was really nice. Oh, you went pool swimming? Yeah. You were in the water, weren't you, with Dan? I was in with Dan, Mr. Goimer. Dan. He did not cope very well with the cold yesterday at all. Well, I was laughing about it, but I admit that I probably would be the same. He was not... <laughs> he was not in a good place at all. Oh, my God. I mean, it, it's like his, seven degrees. He had his hoodies warm up after us, didn't he? Did. Yeah, yes he did, I gave it to him. Oh. So yeah, no, I went to pool swimming and then I, went, then I walked the dog and then I went and um, booked Iceland for my buddy Becky for next year. I've not booked it, I've, I need to talk to her about that um, to just confirm. I, he got it for quite a good price. Oh yeah, you've got to be careful, keep an eye on it. Good job we've got electric. <laughs> I could probably turn that down a little bit actually, I'm yeah. just going to turn that down. Um, anyway, so for th Three nights, but four days in Iceland with, you, obviously they tried to sew you up for um, Northern Lights. You, oh, you, you could have seen them down here the other day, can't they? So you could do Northern Lights either on a coach or um, on a cruise. And uh, the difference is like on a coach is 40 quid. On a cruise on the water is I think 89 pounds or something like that. Food. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, but look, kind of he, food he, he, food. I said, he said, do you want to do well watching? I said, if I'm on the cruise, will I not see the whales anyway? <laughs> I mean, I could, I, could book, I, could, I could book the boat for the whale watching and not see any whales anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So uh, I was like... What happened on the, on the cruise with the, with the whale watching is someone will be there telling you. <laughs> yeah. Look. I, exactly. 
So actually, for, for so he's booked to C- Central. Um, <coughs> I just want to. Hey Siri, stop. Excuse me. They need a little bit longer. Yeah, fine. Um, I just want to lay in the blue pool. Anything outside of that is a bonus to me. In the blue pool, you know the blue pool that I'm talking about in Iceland. It's a volcanic. It's homemade. I say homemade. It's like man-made. But it's, vol- it's like the volcanic water, but it's like oh, mineral yeah, water yeah, yeah, yeah. in that. Anyway, um, as long as I do that, I don't care about anything else. Um, but four ninety-eight flights, hotel. What, for...? Three nights. <coughs> I know. I thought it was quite good. Because it's fixing a lot more. That's each. Yeah, but even so, I was expecting I know. a lot more. I know. And what's the <coughs> when's that for next year? Yeah, February. Ah, so I'm not in the trade, but uh, a client of mine, Sam Cummings, she's now a bit like your guy, a private um, or personal travel agent, and she is saying that the the last minute book of <coughs> the holidays is like you're not that's not going to be around anymore. Last minute booking to get a deal. Yeah. To get the deal, you want to be booking ahead of time now. I, to be honest, I went into Trail Finders. It, it's quite nice having somebody sitting there. Yeah. And looking for the best prices for you, you know. Do you want a tissue for your eyes? No, it's it's really sore. Yeah, it looks it's watering. Yeah. <coughs> Is that the chili getting in the back of your throat? <coughs> I think so. Maybe. Why am I not affected? Ooh. I've built up a tolerance. You watch, I'll eat it. I'll be like, ah, it's fucking hot. Well, it's looking good, isn't it? It is looking good. Um, I, <laughs> I bought this because right. I like. I love eating out of bowls like that. Yeah, me right. too. James doesn't like have. Right. So I bought this when I was away because I was eating something and yeah. I wanted to have a bowl to eat it out. Yeah. Of. I, I eat out of bowls at home all the yeah. time. So, but. James has this set that he likes. We just go along with it because it's easier. Right? There's soup bowls and all them. Right? Because they. That's not big enough. <laughs> no, no. So we can put yours on a plate. Or, or this is the other bowl I have. I'd rather that bowl. Oh, okay. You can have that bowl. Right. Shall we put? He can, he can have a small bowl. Well, he can have it on a plate. He'll have okay. it on a plate. I don't know why. Right. But I would like it in there. Okay. But if You I need to fill it up to the top for me, right? I mean... Tell you what. what. Yeah, what are you getting in that? No, no, no. I'm just showing, like, that's why I've had to buy my own bowl. Because what are you putting in that? No, we ain't putting anything in that. It's a dessert bowl, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's, it's... That's like a pasta dish. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. All right. Start oh. Should we yeah, should we season the pasta? We haven't seasoned our what sauce. Are you putting it? Olive oil and um... just, just we just need a bit of seasoning, a bit of salt. Oh yeah, I've got salt. A little bit of salt. A bit of seasoning. Look at that. Tiny little bit. There you go. Chuck that in there. I did turn it right down. Do you want pepper? Do you want pepper in there? Pepper in this. Honey red. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, no. We should taste it. Okay, you do it. Do you want some salt? A li- have a little teaspoon, please. That I do have. Mm. That's going to have a bit of a kick to it. I can't wait. I'm it's really not. It's not it. too. It's not too bad though. We share oh, it. We share I've got no germs. No. It's like an indirect kiss. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I think it might need Ooh. a little bit of salt. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. <coughs> oh, looks like a, just a pinch. Yeah. Don't be afraid of salt, especially if you're active. Yes. Need it. It's very important. I think the garlic will bring that together as well. The roasted garlic will bring that together. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It might just smell nicer, doesn't it? Is this is the pasta done? 
No, I mean, like, the pasta's all right. Depends on how you like it. How well, do you like it? I don't care. I don't want it raw. No, I don't want it raw. But I don't, I don't I like don't it when it's, it's all smushy. Yeah, I don't. Because that's annoying. How do you, you test it? Chuck it against that. I've cleaned it. Oh, we're going to do that. We're going to do the whole... Needs a bit longer. Yeah, it's not... Yeah. Needs a bit longer. Oh, it needs a little bit longer. No, I've got it. I haven't had pasta for ages. I love pasta. I have pasta every day. Pretty much. Well, I'm on RP. It works for me. It's making me more carbs, so it's good. Like, it's funny. Like... Although I know what I should be eating, when I get out of the habit of tracking, I, for, I kind of, either I'm busy or I forget, not to forget to eat, but I'll kind of like, be like, oh, that'll do. And before I know it, I'm actually not eating enough, and then mm. that's when you start snacking in it. So I'm, um, I think about three weeks now I've been back on LP, and I'm, I'm not snacking because when I'm eating, I'm having like... Proper like meals. meals. Yeah, four yeah. meals a day. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's fucking expensive to buy food at the minute, but I'm... Oh, I don't... I, with, like, I have more than four meals a day. What have I eaten today? Oh, I first one, I I had... I'm into my... After training, I like to have a majority date because it's like instant mm. carbs, which is good for your glutamine release. Anyway... I've been having, um, apple. Then I had a kiwi, and then I got, got in, I had my scrambled eggs and avocado. And then I had half a banana with some muesli with um, papaya and bits and pieces in it with some yogurt. And then I had, ooh, some pasta with some spinach and tomatoes and chicken. And then I had a little Lunchable malt loaf. And then I had a protein shake. And then I had another Lunchable malt loaf. And then I had malt loaf and the banana one. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> we were both like reacting. <laughs> um, and then, and then I got in. I had some lentil rice cakes with some cottage cheese, and I had some mango. And now I am very hungry. I'm really hungry because I haven't. This is like my third meal, and then straight after this, I'm probably going to have to have my fourth meal. Yeah. Shit. No, but I have had some rice cakes to tide me over. Shit. And a protein shake. Okay. Yeah, I know, I'm really hungry. Well. I anyway, what did you do today? I coached the morning classes. Then I went to see Joe, and Henny's getting better, so that's good. Then I went back to the gym and had a client. And then I trained. And then a client didn't turn up. And I rang her up and she, I think she's having menopause brain, which, you know, it happens. Yeah, it does. Um, and then I had another client and then I came home. Right. Right, come on. It's all right. Oh. I think that's right. Yeah. yeah. So a little bit of roasted veg. Are we draining? I'll do it, you're right. All right? Yeah. Look at that, some straw. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's yes, cow. Um, oh, let's put that like, little bit of nutmeg in. Is that enough? Or yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm very hungry. Right, how do you want me to thing you this out? How much do you want? Yep. Just guesstimate. Just it. film a bowl up. I'm not using that. <laughs> I know, I didn't mean. Right, do you want a plate? I'll get you a plate. I have a plate. No, where's the bowl gone? Right, so there's either plates in there or the bowl in there. I don't know why I put that away. Yeah, I think. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to make you have that. No. Right, don't worry, I'm going to give you more. Well, thanks. I'm just going to. Is that enough? Yeah, plenty. Is that about what you say? Hang on, Don't worry about it, cow. No, I mean, because then it's like, oh, yeah. he'd have more carbs than me. Well, they see, you can still have cow, but it's probably a good thing since there's only probably a bottle of wine. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.